The Mila Viaduct, a marvel of modern engineering, stands as the world's tallest bridge, soaring 1125 feet above the ground in France. With a price tag of 394 million euros, the construction of this bridge was no small feat. Engineers faced the daunting task of connecting the world's highest bridge pillars, each one placed on the slope of uneven mountains and standing at a height of 800 feet. But the real challenge came when it was time to place the pre-built road sections, each weighing the same as 25 locomotive engines, onto these pillars. With no crane in existence capable of lifting 5,000 tons to such a height, the construction team had to get creative. It was no less than a scary dream. Due to this issue, the construction of Milo Viaduct was getting delayed, and with every passing day, the construction company was getting fined of $30,000. This is the world's highest bridge, which was built in 2004. Standing at a height of 1125 feet from the ground, that's so much that it is often seen floating on the clouds. The engineering company that had shown the courage to build this bridge was actually stuck with this project. Because of the landslides in these valleys of France and the stormy winds at whopping 130 km per hour, was making their work almost impossible. Now from the design to the construction of the bridge, the engineering team had to face three difficult challenges. Firstly, they had to build those huge pillars on the slope of those uneven mountains. Secondly, placing a four-lane highway weighing 36,000 tons on top of it. And thirdly, building steel pylons on top of the bridge. Each steel pylon weighs twice as much as an Airbus at 380. And to top it all, all these tasks had to be done 100 feet above the ground. Now, for this work, the world's best architect, Lord Norman Foster, was hired. He had already made a name for himself in the world in designing bridges, because even a small mistake in this design can become the basis of some disaster. After years of hard work, Foster had presented a brilliant design. A total of seven pillars of the bridge were designed and the road above it was supposed to be in a curved shape. But the main issue was, the construction team that had dared to build this bridge was given a deadline of only four years. After the deadline, the fine for every day was fixed at $30,000. The construction of the bridge started in October 2001. This bridge was being built for 120 years. The construction started with laying the foundation of pillars, but as soon as it got up, bad news came from the geologists. They informed that there is fractured limestone beneath this area, which has already caused many empty spaces between the stones. Geologists here expressed the danger of landslides during drilling and excavation. But despite all these warnings, the work of laying the foundation continues. Now, to make seven huge pillars of the bridge, concrete weighing about two lakh tons was required for which a factory was built on the site itself. This was reinforced concrete in which 16,000 tons of steel bars were to be used. But the main issue was with the location of each pillar. If the location is not at the pinpoint, then the road section placed over it will never be straight. If the bottom of the pillar is misplaced even by 10 centimeters, it will create a difference of 6 meters at the top. GPS was used for this pinpoint accuracy. Days passed, months passed, and then in November 2003, the seven pillars had reached their final height of 245 meters. Pillar number two had become the tallest pillar in the world. The success was tremendous, but the team did not get time to relax because the next phase of bridge construction was the most difficult. Laying a two and a half kilometer long road section at such a height was no joke. Yet a small mistake during this process can cause the loss of human life and millions of dollars. It was decided to build the road in steel portions. For this work, the company named Eiffel Steelworks was contacted for help. At that time, it was the only company that had the capability to make such large sections of steel. A total of 2200 steel sections were made for the road with each section weighing 90 tons. Now, the plan was that, after welding all these steel sections, they were supposed to be slid on the pillars and pushed forward as shown. But the problem is, there is a distance of 342 meters between the pillars. If a section weighing 5 tons was made to slide, then it's simple physics that it will fall halfway due to the lack of support. But for the record, even if it does not fall down, if we slide the road sections on such high pillars, the pillars might just fall due to weight. Now to fix that, a cedar engineer came up with an idea. He demonstrated that if we slide a heavy box while standing on the ground, then it will impact the balance of the table also. But if we do the same thing while standing on the table, then the table will have zero impact. Now, keeping this physics principle in mind, the team decided to install a hydraulic system, which will lift the road section and move it forward. This will prevent the pressure exerted by the mountain on the pillars and also to prevent the sections from falling halfway. 
Temporary seal structures were also installed at a distance of 170 meters between the pillars, which will bear half the weight of the road section. So, yeah, this was the prototype which wasn't even tested beforehand. Now, 26 February 2003 was very important for the construction team. On this day, their years of hard work were going to be tested. The hydraulic ramp which was installed on the pillars was incorporated. All the ramps of this new system had to simultaneously lift the road section at the same speed and push it forward. If there was even a slight difference in their synchronization, if it were to go, all the weight would fall on one pillar and it could cause the entire bridge to collapse. Luckily, the hydraulic ramp system worked, and it took only two days to reach the 200-meter road section to pillar number one. By 2004, road sections had been laid from both sides. Now only the part above the river was left. If this last section is not laid properly, then all the hard work could go in vain. There is also a curve in this section, which makes this part very crucial of all. The whole of France was watching this moment on live broadcast while the French Prime Minister himself was present on the spot. Now in the four years, for the first time, the roads of north and south section had joined together, and that too after connecting the road with accuracy of 99.9%. .9%. But for extra support, a 90-meter high seal pylon had to be installed. One pylon weighed 700 tons, and there were seven such pylons of this height. But the installation of such a heavy pylon was being attempted for the first time in the world. To check the strength of the bridge, 28 trucks were passed over it simultaneously. The surprising thing was that the road section, which was designed to swing up to 50 centimeters, had swung only 25 centimeters compared to the weight of all these trucks. On December 16, 2004, the bridge was opened to the public for the first time. This was the result of the hard work of the engineering team day and night, who not only successfully constructed the world's tallest bridge, but also created a new record by completing the work before time. That's all from my side for now. If you liked my work, then please don't forget to like and subscribe.